In this session, let us try to understand the traditional approach of storing and processing big data. In a traditional approach, usually the data that is being generated out of the organizations, the financial institutions such as banks or stock markets and the hospitals is given as an input to the ETL system. An ETL system would then extract this data and transform this data that is it would convert this data into a proper format and finally load this data onto the database. Now the end users can generate reports and perform analytics by querying this data. But as this data grows, it becomes a very challenging task to manage and process this data using the traditional approach. This is one of the fundamental drawbacks of using the traditional approach. Now let us try to understand some of the major drawbacks of using the traditional approach. The first major drawback is it is an expensive system. That is it requires a lot of investment for implementing or upgrading the system. Therefore it is out of the reach of small and mid sized companies. The second drawback is scalability. As the data grows expanding the system is a challenging task. And the third major drawback is it is a time consuming system. It takes lot of time to process and extract valuable information from this data. I hope you all might have understood the traditional approach of storing and processing big data and its associated drawbacks.